Hello and welcome to SC 365 TV. I'm Joe Snow and today at Technology at its finest, I'm going to show you how to SSH, SSH or SSH into your phone in order to gain root access and to modify files, to delete files and so on wirelessly. What I mean by wirelessly, you probably know that you can connect into your phone and SHSH or SSH into it using iExplorer, using iTools and you can browse the file system. But for this you need a power cord and you connect it via power cord and the phone has to be also jailbroken. My method also works with jailbroken devices and requires you to be jailbroken but it doesn't really need a uh, wire. You don't need the power cord to be connected into your phone. So you can do it from the comfort of your home, but without connecting any wires, you, your phone can be on your bed and you can be on your desk. And you connect your phone wirelessly to the computer and uh, fetch every information from it. Now, what you really need is to have a jailbreak. Uh, go into Syria and go into Syria and install OpenSSH. I don't think you don't have it installed, because if you have a jailbreak, then it must likely also have the CDR package installed. But we can rest assured by checking it via a search command. Let me show you. Okay, so first of all, I have my, my phone connected to the computer for the moment. Let me show you. You go into the Cydia, you tap the search button and you should you should search for open SSH. And you you have to look at this one, the first one with open SSH and if you see this uh, thick, then it's installed and you don't need to install it again. If not, you click it and install it. The procedure is like any other package from Cydia. Okay, now let me disconnect my phone from the computer in order to show you that it's wirelessly. Okay, my phone got disconnected and I'm now um, browsing into it, but um, not with the computer, but with my hand. Okay, I'm gonna put it apart. Okay, and let's use WinSCP. Now, WinSCP, you probably know this program from iPhone 4 bypassing from my channel, but in order to gain access with WinSCP and the power cord, you need to run shsh.gaair. We're not going to use it. Uh, we're not going to use this program today. We're just going to use WinSCP as it, sh it should work without any uh, SHSH because the phone has to be opened. The phone has to be powered on in the springboard. Now, at a host name, we're going to write no longer a local host, but we're going to write the IP address of the phone. For that, you go to settings wireless and press that little i in order to get information about the connected network you will see the first row which says ip address and in my case my phone's ip address local ip address it's 192 <clears throat> sorry 1681 and 5 don't add the 20 here if you use this shsh method you need to add 20 like this one but you're not going to add it today root and alpine alpine is the password let me write this is the password for every iphone uh, please keep in mind this works with all iphones and all ios devices that can be jaw broken like iphone 6 iphone 4 iphone 4s iphone 6 uh, s iphone uh, no not s plus iphone 6 plus iphone 6 whatever and iphone 5s and 5C and so on and you just click login in there wait for it it will ask you for a credential or not first time it will take a little bit like one minute or less and here you are into the phone wirelessly you know you can do it wirelessly via iTunes in order to sync your phone but you're not allowed to get root access via iTunes well this one allows me to browse my file system without connecting my phone. I'm going to show you again that my phone is not connected to the computer, as you can see. And the best way to check it is by uh, opening iTunes, which will tell you if 
my phone is connected or not. While iTunes starts, let me show you what I have in my phone. Those are the applications. I can also delete setup.app from here. But I don't have the setup.app here. I probably I already deleted it. Look, it's Cydia application with its everything. Okay. And if we want to delete the um, the informations, we can simply as you can see there's no phone connected nope nothing okay because the phone is connected via wireless network now as I told you you can go to library for example and to control the lockdown from um, from the preferences or from, from the file systems but you can also go to the preferences here and uh, modify the uh, system configurations and the security or let me show you you can also go to the S bin and um, delete applications like the PNG application or anything like this but make sure you don't delete something very important you can also access your applications and their data in order to change data for example you have a game this is the YouTube app but if you have a game you can get a patched version from the internet and replace the files in there and you get bigger scores, more money on that game, uh, bigger levels and so on. You can you can modify the application from there. Uh, documents, you can um, also see the documents you have, the downloads, whatever if you download something. The library contains um, the, um, the cake or the cache of these uh, applications and you can also access the photos but whatever photos means and the assets that you have in my case I can access the MISC and I can go, uh, get the previews and the um, Apple um, official photos now modifying these things may or may not the major phone so be very careful uh, what you delete what you whatever do while browsing this uh, these things and in the root in the library and lockdown and here you can save the activation tickets in my case this is my activation ticket generated by the bypass data erc and the regulatories and if I take those things and I uh, make an archive from them I have my um, my ticket saved now again make sure you don't delete or remove something uh, remove or modify something very important because it may the mage or may not the major phone okay now going back to here you can also do whatever you want to do here because everything is listed um, some of the folders may be read only because they are important files from the system but um, I think you can go with that uh, two, this is the FS tab which can be modified in order to accept multiple connections and the, the bin which means probably the applications the standard applications of the phone as you can see there are the writes for example read, write and uh, delete and modify and whatever and those writes are um, wrote here you can modify the writes too um, if this one shows up just wait for it close it and just wait for it for example, we don't have access to that folder. If you if you get that, then probably the folder is read only and it's a file system one. But basically, this is the idea of um, doing an SHSH or SSH into the phone using WinSCP or you can use Putty for that. But I prefer this one because it's a little bit more um, user friendly. So. That was the tutorial, I hope you liked it and I hope it will be useful for you while trying to modify file system and breaking your phone. No, just kidding. No, uh, seriously, be very careful what you modify in the file system because you can uh, end up with your phone no longer working or with your phone requiring you to restore. So do not delete important system files if you don't know what to delete. Okay. But this is basically the idea and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do just hit the like share and subscribe you also have the the right to dislike the video if you don't like it but all hateful comments will be deleted because every comment is moderated so 
thanks for watching again if you like the video share like and subscribe and uh, yeah till the next time have a great day and uh, don't break your phone